storekeeping. That's what we are looking at in this video. So the next important stage after purchasing the materials is keeping them, which is storekeeping or storage. Let's start by looking at the activities or duties of a storekeeper. The first activity is to issue requisition for the purchase. The storekeeper is supposed to identify what is missing in the store and is needed or it's important and then request for its purchase. Then the second duty is receipt of the purchase. In case something has been bought, a storekeeper is supposed to receive it. Then storage of the materials. After receiving the materials, they are supposed to be put in the store or they are supposed to be store stored. Then um, another one is issue materials to the production and service departments. The storekeeper is supposed to give the materials to the production department or any other department or any other user that needs it. Another duty is regular stock taking. The storekeeper is supposed to count stock regularly. It can be on a daily basis, a weekly basis, something like that, but it's supposed to be doing regular stock taking. Then another duty is classification and identification of materials by nature, size, and then value. So the storekeeper is supposed to identify materials and then separate them or classify them accordingly, according to their size, nature, or value. Like maybe store books in their corner store pens in their corner store files in their corner something like that so supposed to classify identify and identify materials by nature size and then value then uh, supposed to protect materials against fire safety and damage then is also supposed to maintain records of inventory then it's also supposed to ensure that there is economic use of the storage space, like ensure that the store space is used properly. You're yeah, not extravagantly or something. So those are the duties of the storekeeper. Let's look at the organization of the stores. Stores are supposed to be organized in a certain way. Yeah. And organization of the store depends upon different factors. And these factors include like the size and layout of the factory, how the factory is, yeah, and the size of it. It will determine the organization of the store. Then the nature of the materials that are being stored, like the way you will store chairs, the way you will store books, it's not the same way you will store maybe machines, heavy machines and all that. So it also depends on the nature of the materials that are being kept in the stores. Then the frequency of purchase and the issue of materials. Like the materials that are purchased occasionally will not be stored the same as those materials that are not purchased occasionally. So those are the three factors that determine the organization of the store. The size and layout of the factory or the organization, the nature of the materials, then the frequency of purchase and issue of materials. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Let's catch up in my next video.